if he was told by the girl there was a prophet in the land he, had, he did not want that idea he had pro, 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 conceived the idea and that is why many people are going to the wrong places many people want to go to churches where there are many people where nobody will know where they live and what they do. So when you go to those places, uh, you find you have entered into problems. So God is telling us today that we need not we need to separate ourselves from the cloud. Because there is a way that they may seem light to a man. But to the end, there is a death. You may look at many places that you want to go. Those places, they look very present and very good. But it may look as if it is the right way for you to go. But I came to tell you the end of it it will be a way of death. So we shall know them by their fruit. And they are, our job is to point uh, to people that to go to the right direction. Point number four. The answer, sometimes the answer is very simple. God's message is very simple. God's instructions are very simple. But sometimes we want to hear what we want to hear. The message of Christ did not require performance by the great prophet. The message was just true as it was spoken by the maid. Dipping in the river Jordan seven times was just simple. But Naman saw as if it was very, very difficult. Now today, God is asking us to do simple things. But we are finding those things to be very hard. But it is good that we obey what God has asked us to do. The Bible says in Titus 2, you can read by yourself from verse 11 to 15 uh, that the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. And that is why for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave out his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have a everlasting life. So today God is giving us, giving us simple instructions and we need it to follow. Point number five. Getting angry does not uh, make your problem go away. Many other times that we are very angry. Naman did not like the answer. Though that answer was the truth. In reality, that is what he was supposed to do. Otherwise, the, the condition was not going to change. If he was told to go and dip six, uh, seven times, and then uh, dip himself six times, he could not have received uh, uh, healing. God will not, will not change no matter how angry you are going to be. God is not changing whatever instructions he has given. 
God is not changing. Even if you are giving uh, reasons, a thousand reasons, God is not going to change. What He has said He is going to do, what He has said He is going to do, that is exactly what He is going to do. Uh, lastly, uh, sin cleansing requires humility. At the end of the story, Naman had to do what he was required to do. And he was cleansed. We require to have humility. Uh, we require to obey the gospel of God. We are required to be willingly to humble ourselves for God to save us. The Bible says in Matthew 5, 3 and 5, first 3 and 5, Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are the meek. Because all, all, all this inform humility. And we need to require to obey God. And as I finish. God is telling us in Hebrews 10, 38. Now just as we leave, uh, uh, now just shall live, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back my soul, shall have no pressure in him. Remember the story of Nama. He was a foreigner, now a Jew who really obeyed God's instructions. And he is cleansed. What about you today? Are you obeying God's commands? How can we help you? Think about it. Think about the story of Naman. How he suffered. And if God did for Naman. And Naman was not even saved. How much more God would do for you. Let us hold on to Jesus. The other the finish of our faith. For those who are aiming at home. We are speaking healing in Jesus' name. For those who are feeling that uh, they are feeling they are uh, they are neglected and they are burdened, we speak restoration and we are speaking compassion of God. May God visit you today. May your life never be the same. We pray that our lives may be like that one of an eagle. Let us keep on waiting upon God. We will never faint nor uh, grow weary. Because our God is all powerful. Our God never fails. Our God knows us by our names. And He is able to do exceedingly more than we can think nor imagine. Because He is God. It is my prayer that this is season. God is going to remember us. God is going to remember us. In every situation, I am praying that we see God. And I know that this nation is going to be restored. I am feeling persuaded that God is restoring the church. And this nation shall be called a Christian nation. Because we believe in him. And he is able to do it for us. In Jesus' name. God bless you as we see one another. Amen.